Hello, very good evening. Uh, I'm Dr. Dushan, back with another cool tip. Now, um, today's tip is basically about creating custom marking menus. Now, last time we learned how we can create custom shelves. Uh, using the same technique, uh, basically we then uh, are able to create our own custom marking menus. Now, marking menus are something that appear in Maya such like this thing. So, these are known as marking menus. Um, usually have certain tools and information with respect to it and then you can use it uh, based on what you exactly want to do. So uh, these marking menus are very helpful in quickly accessing and using uh, various different information within Maya. Then how do we create our own marking menus with my own custom tools and everything so that I don't have to use the shelf again or look for the options uh, in my menus. Uh, or sometimes we don't remember the shortcuts that uh, commonly as well. So in order to create a marking menu, again, uh, we would be required to create a new shelf. That's just easily done. Create a new shelf temp. Go into the tools that you want to put in your marking menu. So for example, if I'm creating a polygon tool, I will go into edit mesh and I will start with bevel. Now we have discussed this. We just need to press control shift and then click on the bevel. That item will be added in here. Then I use um, connect regularly, extrude, merge. These are options that I tend to use regularly. Uh, with that, I would just go into um, what we call extract is something I would be again going here. Then connect, I've already done. Crease, create polygon, not so often, make uh, multi-cut. These are two, three options that again would be using again and again. Uh, sculpting is something very nice. I usually create a separate shelf for that, uh, marking menu for that. But for now, I just leave it here. Um, maybe I can just go into it and put one menu for this, that for as well. For example, sculpt tool, control shift here, mesh. I would be using um, combine, separate, uh, smooth, uh, that should be, and again, you can add as many menus as you want. So for example, we have five, seven time items already available here, and we need to add them into our marking menu. I don't want to use this in my shelf. Um, we have a shelf for poly tools already, but uh, if you want to create that, let's go into windows, general editors, and we go into marking menu editor. Once you're here, just click on the create new. Now, these are certain marking menus that are already available for us. Now, this is for the hotbox. And then some left mouse clicks, middle mouse clicks, and right mouse click button that is used by Maya by default. For our case, we will create a new marking menu here. This will open up a new marking menu window. Give it name, for example, Poly Tools. And then we need to populate these things. So in order to do that, simply come into your shelf, middle mouse, drag and drop onto your options here. As simple as that. So again, middle mouse, drag, oh, oh sorry. Middle mouse, drag and drop options here. Uh, extrude, I want to be here. Uh, similarly, these tools just drag this option and drop it here so that's why we usually create a shelf first add the items that I, I want to use uh, maybe sculpt should come here um, this come here and then this items can go somewhere on here I think combine already with it and then again you can add here for example this is something that you don't want or if we don't want this item right click and just delete the menu item it would be deleted then we have what's this tool called combine i can use this combine here but actually i already have that so delete this uh, am i missing any tool yes this tool here right so i can drag the combine here bring it here and then middle mouse drag and drop this tool here but this is also here i'm sorry this uh, multi-cut tool so i bring the multi-cut here combine and finally i drop the tool here so as soon as i drop it here it just adds here by default these are is six seven eight tools are already here in the four menus and the remaining will just go down so you add as tools as many as you want you can click and drag these tools as you like but usually i just keep it to eight to ten common tools that i'm using click on the save button the menu item is not unique please specify unique name also i actually have already named so i can specify this as a my poly tools name click on the save and it would add a my poly tools name here now just close it so this is my uh, my poly tools already available if i double click on it this is will show me the options that i have done now um, the next thing we need to do is we need to tell maya how to invoke this marking menu in other words when i press a key i want this menu to pop up to do that i would go into this uh, settings using mark use marking menu in in your hotbox if you want to do that if you click on this it will tell you that whether you want on the north east west south center and which mouse button you want to use it for um, i usually go for a hotkey editor that means i press a shortcut from a keyboard and then click on the viewport and just pops the tool up so i will just click on the hotkey editor and click apply settings once you do that it will tell you my poly tools accessible in the hotkey editor now meaning that now this will be connected with your hotkey editor and you can assign a shortcut to it that you can use so next stop we jump to you my hotkey editor again windows preference and editors our windows setting your preferences and hotkey editor once we in the hotkey editor basically now we need to find that marking menu first so i go into hotkey editor and i would choose if i go into editors this should give me the default editor keys other items it should go into other items if i go into menu items the default menu items but usually this our own custom marking menu if i go into other items 
and if you look here there would be a tool called marking menus but this would contain all the predefined marking menus that are available to us including hotbox and everything with that because we have created our own marking menu it would pop up under using mar user defined marking menus under this category which is usually the last field so in other items we search for the user marking menus and there you should have my poly tools my poly tools press and release all you need to do now is assign it a particular shortcut now uh, search first of all we need to search for which shortcut key is actually available and that is shown on this panel here that which shortcut key is available that you can use so i can use eight in this case it is free if i press eight see nothing pops up so that means i can use eight uh, or nine key uh, for my tool or this explanation mark other than that everything else is busy i uh, i can use a key combination for example i can press alter and all these keys are available for me so i can press alt t for tools maybe if it's convenient then it should pop up the menu all the nearby keys are occupied mm, other than that what you can do is for example i can come into user marking menus press here uh, this is already done i can come here and i can give it in the key for example alter um, p alter g for example i guess i've assigned it here so as soon as i press alter g it tells me that alter g is already assigned to a poly tool press i've already assigned it to my own marking menu do you want to override this existing marking menu or do you want to create a new one so if i said yes it would override this thing and assign it to this one um, since i know i can do that other than that you can just press any other key for example in this case i can press ctrl t uh, that should work for example alter t uh, it should work with me that but in my, in my case i will just again go with alter g click on the yes so now see that it disappeared from here and assigned here uh, to my poly tools at the g then i just click on save button hotkey has been saved now if i go back into my maya close everything up if i'm working with my maya and i need to work any on the poly tools i can just press alt g click and all these tools are bang so yeah, extrude be well connect so i don't need to dig into my shelf or in another tools all the menus that i want to use alt g i have extrude so i can extrude the faces if i want I'm um, sorry, this would be not a good example. Control Z. For example, right click face and select a face. Select a face, select a face, select a face. Hang on. What's up? Hey, buddy. Right click, face. Uh, okay. It's not in the mood, I guess. Something is going wrong. Anyway, um, so you get the basic idea. So you press Alt G and the menu pops up. And then you can use that. I can go into right click face. Somehow the faces are not being selected. Uh, not being, not getting selected. Why, 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 why? Have I done something wrong? Uh, let me check with that. So uh, ba basically, that's a, a simple tip for you that you can use uh, Alt G and create your own marking menus as you like. So in this case, I have this marking menu available for me that allows me to select various different tools. I usually create various different marking menus from selection and everything that allows me to limit which menus I'm working with. Thank you very much. See you next round. Fiamma Allah.